people have seen this this pick for pick and p draft they were winning for like the first 20 minutes and then you take one bad team fight like skeeter just got caught out one time and if your bristleback falls behind as your hard carry you kind of just lose this game yeah and skeeter i think there's a lot of pressure on him right now because i think his performances in the last two in tournaments have been kind of questionable yeah he definitely needs to pick it up a bit more and being, I, I mean, picking Bristleback, I never liked picking Bristleback in the ledge. It's the same as picking into a Legion Commander, right? Anything yeah. that can force you to turn around is going to hurt a lot. They already have a ton of burst damage with the Chaos. Who don't have, like, if the enemy has a pipe and they can just, like, form up and run at you and they don't care, it's hard. Okay, do you agree with those Betway odds? NIP, a, that's a pretty heavy favorite. One to two almost. No, nah, I think the other way, actually, with yeah. those odds. Oh, yeah, my bad, my bad, I'm back. If, if you were to... Uh, if you were to look at the teams, maybe I would agree with the matchup, yeah. but based off of the draft, I think... I would like. take 178 with those. Yeah, me too. Yeah. The, uh... I think Pikachu is a is, uh, pretty sick player. Um, he's really good at riding momentum. Yeah. And just being... Like, I played a game with him yesterday. He was less track mid, and... I mean, that's one of the ultimate, like, momentum carries right now, but he just took over the entire game. So what's the, is the build on CK still like the one Sumail was doing? Is it still like armlet into heart second item? I believe that's what we've been seeing. You just go that pure strength, the heart with your chaos strike is just broken. Yeah, I think you need the early stats items, especially this game with the way the draft's constructed. You want to, as we talked about, take those fights. So armlet's super good with the ultimate. I know. You can pick up the, you can pick up the rune if you slide a fist right on top of a hero that's there. Yeah, I believe. Yeah, yeah. tried to do you it can. there, and he did not get it. So a two for two trade. Nothing crazy. Man, first game of the DPC season. If you know this one, <laughs> I know Grant. Oh, actually, Grant watches. Grant, 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 Grant watches fans. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Grant's a Denver affiliate. Uh, for those who don't know, uh, three mind? of us here are in a fantasy football Radiant league together. Did we? Oh, true. William just made a blockbuster deal. Uh, we might see What's the up? first oh. kill of the DPC. No shame, but he just, just run harassing, him. just right clicking, trying to run him down. Gunner, Needs will he be able to juke? One more slight. Uh, Not gonna happen. Okay. The first play one for going to the trees, right? <laughs> yeah, you just have to run away. I guess. <laughs> you have to run straight back, I think. Okay. And now, well. That's big, because he's gonna be almost level six, and now your tower's like in a lot of trouble, because he can just always sit behind you. Oh, that's the worst when you're up against the timber. Yeah. Like, as you know, he's not hitting your tower, but you can't do anything to stop him from just cutting your creeps and doing this. He can just sit under your tier one. He doesn't care. What up? Even with flame card up, he doesn't care. And once you level six, Gunner might just die again. He, he uh -oh. does need to be careful. Oh, he's already got to yeah. respect and back up here. I love it too. The double bracer. The timber saw. Do Pikachu look at boss. that CS difference? Yeah. Oh, the range curry pitch is sitting there with one HP. Grant's still too. I'm, I'm stressing out right now. Someone <laughs> nah, denied or kill it, please. <laughs> It just stacks. And just so you can bully. Yeah. You leave, You leave like, when you, you fight at Vader camp, you uh, leave the small little creep alive to tell the others. I mean, it's... <laughs> they're actually your They friends. hit you, but you hit the, the big one yeah. even harder and faster. I mean, it's just like Axe, right? Yeah. The just oh. like Axe. Fiver. Fiver's getting bullied here, too. Oh, Bounce turns on. Oh, he got it. Nice. Easy. Fable. He's definitely going to die here. Two seconds. Done. Once. Yeah, he really is. Uh, and you guys are just attributing that more to how Gunner's playing it, not to the matchup. I mean, I think the I think the matchup got a little bit annoying, but I thought I don't think he should die there. That probably hurts him more than anything. Maybe it was better when Timber did do a little bit of magic damage, but it was never enough to kill Flame Guard. Yeah. Remember, because it was only whirling death. Because it was magic until you hit trees. God, this hero is so annoying to play against. Now he's got the chakra, and he's even with the help of Peter, he doesn't care. Oh, I yeah, him under the tower. He's just watching. Nothing uh -oh. DPD can do. Yo, let me just say, uh, a reminder that Tippersaw does more damage when he cuts down trees with his whirling death. Yeah, that was the change that happened. And it no longer goes from magic to pure. Now uh -oh. he just does more pure damage. Oh, the luck is not here with an IP, or maybe oh, oh, he did try to turn around and for the save comes Viver. The classic four position. Peter's like, I'm finally doing it. That's I'm fun. getting a kill. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, you have to KS with uh, Rubik, by yeah. the way. Rubik's like the what? 
usually a forward position, can sit in the mid lane and spam out the waves. That way you can dedicate someone to deal protecting the tower without like over committing. And now 178 are pressuring and punishing elsewhere as they're gonna try to grab this Biver kill. They'll still have the Heavenly Grace. Oh, up, but oh, God, a quick God. cancel. He has a Chaos Bolt. Goes for the TP out, abandoning his brother. Viber, let's go and down. Oh, I thought the, the Hunter talent, uh, damage talent was broken up. That was underrated. That was talent. mega That's broken cool. because the entire problem with Timber Saw was that you couldn't you get the tower, tower yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was close. He should survive. Almost gazed him right into the arrow. Yeah, that slow. would have been got to run. Oh, dear life here is getting he does have enough slowed down by that shield. Run. He needs more to end. Unless that's enough, he'll miss. It is. He needs two attacks still. Oh, is he going to go for the deny? No, he's trying to oh, run God. it. He ran into the wrong neighborhood. Shara is there. Chooks out. And Wait, what's waiting? <laughs> does not want to play defensively. Yeah. You get to just Gunner's like run at people, you feel so strong because you have three different offensive abilities essentially. Oh, Gunner being stopped by an Invis Marana here. Could be in danger. They're bringing in the Lich as well. Just wants to stop him from farming. Gunner's like, yeah, you're not going to. It's all of them still. Uh, Zips out. out. Faces, please. There we go. The Star Storm. Nope. Oh my goodness. And they kill him off, though. They do have that Chain Frost if NIP groups up a little too much. Lobbing it in. Oh, get it. Bouncing. Oh, no. Doesn't need it, but Skeeter juking with the quills. It'll be two attacks from the Murata. I think. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, I think he could have killed him. I love this seed unit. It's bloodlust. It's just, it's just, just chilling. They're not split pushing. They brought all five back, so they are going to try to make a play to hold this bottom lane. Can they do it? Multicast coming through, and uh -oh. Pikachu standing strong in the front. There's the Ignis, but Chain Frost yeah. bouncing, and they're going to have to try back away. They do manage to get that Lich kill, though he's already committed his ultimate. Now the Omni Knight all coming out, and they are still fencing around on the sidelines here. Will they be able to get the Ogre? He's low. Oh my god, Viber, he was Chain Frost. Frost. Dude, Viber just won that fight for him. He yeah. got both those kills. All right, that guys. was sick. They did not break. On a bulk will, we had the Uber Eats sponsor yeah, last really time. Awesome. Imagine if Jack was just like the Jack from Jack. <laughs> Loki <laughs> hasn't been telling anybody he owns Jack. <laughs> well, they want to take a fight again. Do they have detection? They do. Oh, this could be huge. Can they bring him down? <laughs> he does. Oh. Now look for the turnaround. Miranda jumping in. Carl's so good go. here. But they are oh, looking like they're going to be able to finish okay. off this. They go. Oh, they they got a kill. Cool. The chain frost bouncing nicely, though, forcing the team back. Dude, the Ignis is still. The Lich is dead. Oh, well, maybe not. Just kidding. He's they, doing like 400 <laughs> ahead. Maybe actually the same. I thought it was something totally different. I didn't think it. Had I knew that last Christmas. part was wrong because Grant said it was. It'd be Christmas every time. Every day, like, what? Yeah, what? Oh, oh, they're gonna fight again. They're just gonna get a free pick off. Dude, they're doing it. One seven eight getting a little sloppy here. Yep, they really. Are. You have to play very careful to support because all they want to do is go on you because they can't go on Timbersaw. They can't go on Ogre. They can't go on Canis Knight, right? And when they went for that team fight, who was the first person to die? The Lich, right? Why? The fight went on like ten seconds more after that. Also, it, it's going to be tough because I think Rubik's going to steal Chain Frost every single Radiant's fight, and it's one of two team fights now. It is really hard it's to impossible. quick cast any other yeah. spell after that, but... Uh, yeah, and he's got is... the Aether Lens now, so he can sit even farther back. We didn't think that NIP would be in this position because we thought that they would break much sooner, but uh, their lineup is pretty hard to kill. Like, Omni, Ember, and Bristle aren't fun cores to go on. Oh, oh missed the slide. Doesn't know if anyone's there. I'm a little hunt. Oh, this CK is so beefy, though. Yeah, he, that's the thing. I was like, if he has heart, they probably just can run five man at your base and be pretty okay. I think uh, 178 have like one final really big power spike, and that's with the heart, the Guardian Greaves. We're looking for the gunner old, here. You gotta get, you gotta get the lit. close All range right, get the stun. Gaze, follow it up with the Chaos Bolt. Do they have the burst to bring him down? Perfectly chain stun. I love it. You saw the Ogre cancel a stun multiple times. Just waiting. They don't even have a tower yet, do they? They sure don't. NIP trying to get their first tier one middle, and the creeps, they're doing their best. They're, they're giving it their all. They're about the only thing hitting towers yeah, this please. game. <laughs> we also boys. got, um, I think the level 15 talents are all really good on these cores. I think Chaos Saints are probably the, the most lackluster, but that's 15 strength. Uh, Timbersaw has the extra reactive armor stacks or the spell amp. Uh, both are really good. And then Ogre has the health talent which just makes him 
Yeah, it's already taking enough, you know? <laughs> we already talked about how it's hard to go. So I feel like this is their, like, final really big power spike. Um, so if they don't take, like, at least a lane of barracks with... Like, I think maybe they wait until the heart is picked up on Chaos Knight, but if they don't take a lane of barracks with that, then... If they commit here for the Marana. And they, they bring it down in time to oh. the leap up to the high ground. Ember's there on the chase. Gunner will grab the kill. And they find more. The Chain Frost bouncing pretty nicely back on the Skeeter. The Ignis going. is going him. Can the CK deal with it? He's just going to ignore him and go straight for Skeeter, but the Ignis keeps on interrupting, pulls him back oh. in, and will finish him off. All right, as the soon as he dies, there's so no scary. damage. Yeah. It's literally just Skeeter plus four dudes behind him. And yeah, I love that they killed uh, and uh, by the is first. like not even bothering with the Ignis, you know. No. Just going for heroes. <laughs> I think 178 did figure out the like, wait, Byron's the only guy really doing damage. Yo, they have a spear vessel on him. Uh oh. He is healing up with the blood. Dead. It's the team fight winning item. And uh, one team fight. And you oh, they're trying to set the up a bait here. They think they've caught the timber saw out, but instead, looks like Skeeter. the turnaround's going to happen here. Can they finish off this bristleback, beating him low, but the Ignis there to turn it around? Oh, no. The Omni Knight with the ultimate. This could be huge. Can he get out safely? Pikachu's locked onto him, still at basically full HP with the Chakram. Chasing forward, looking for more. Doesn't care about the Ignis. Chaining over the top and NIP in a headlong retreat. They've got nothing so far. Nice arrow. Wow, it looked like they might have, they just don't have damage though. Like, like diving? He's got the, he's got the Greaves you mentioned now, yeah. Cap, so no Spirit Vessel in that fight. And they only have one Vessel charge too. Yep. And they're gonna blast the universe. They, they know those guys, I don't know what you're talking about. I've never heard Alan get mad. I've never <laughs> seen his face red in my life. You are all liars. I didn't even say anything. How am I a liar? <laughs> 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 okay, that's the lie. Not saying anything is the lie. It's true. They should, and they should take the shot. We're talking about too. it because it's funny, but yeah. I legit no, think Oz is, is right about no, double damage in Roshan. Yeah, <laughs> like, I, I, I think it's like this crazy RNG mechanic that, like, you find a double damage, you're like, oh, we can Rosh. <laughs> like, a lineup that couldn't Rosh when, before, you find a double damage, you're like, oh, cool. But there's really Win percentage no up by. Well, they killed the Coddle, who was. The invasive milkshakes. <laughs> For the other tier three, a lot easier without Coddle. It is. This Bristle, though, is still doing good damage with the yeah. purification coming through. That's the thing. He can just sit here all Zero day. Zero charges. Oh, boy. He's got to find a support to kill real fast. Yeah. I mean, that was the thing. If they had that Lich kill earlier, but they didn't. Yeah. Nice arrow. Oh, this is the kill that they Ooh, desperately wow. need. They no buyback. No big no buyback. No so damage, much of the damage for NIP. Save this. No sorceries. Solar crested blood. Yeah. 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 yeah, once the phantasm's like about to go out. It's probably through. Mm -hmm. the slow beat down. Four step is up on universe, so as long as he's turned the right way, it'll be fun. Now Pikachu sticking around, wants to go for a little more, and they're gonna get another pullback here. Wow. And they curse Universe. Yes. He is down. That was the important part of the equation that they had to kill. Yep. Not actually the Bristol. Did you see how quickly the Bristol goes down without Uni? Oh, they're gonna find that fourth kill here. This might be Ow. the game. Yeah, it's looking like it. Well, they're gonna buy back, try to hold this a little longer, but that's the only buyback available. And these cores are just not oh. scary on any AP side. By the way, Ember went Radiance. No BKB, no Maelstrom. Switched it up, audible. But it's not oh, doing too much. Oh, they can go bottom potentially now. Seeing there's no buybacks, they've got a whole minute without the Connell. They might just go for Megas here. Oh, nice. Another oh, arrow. arrow. Snipes there's from Big Numb. Yeah. Blowing this game wide open. There's three times now that they've set up with that Timber Yules. Yeah. He aggressively runs forward into the uh, the arrow setup. I love how Lady bought it too, and he's like, wait, we can just get kills with that setup? Sure, I might as well buy it. And it's really no risk because of how tanky the timber yeah. is. Yeah. It's also another, like, spirit vessel. Like, I always love Yules because it's, uh, it's offensive and defensive usage. Oh, you can do, like, the... Uh... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, bounces once. I think they're dead. Yeah, he's fine, though. Dyer's they're holding 3v5. Trying to. They need a huge fight at this point. These two lanes going down. Just holding ain't enough. They need to full wipe them right here to stand any chance. Yeah. And there's an A just by the way on Radiant. Strong team potentially getting full wiped, however, as this Bristle drops dangerously low. Pulled back in with the claws. Valentimos, he'll finish him off. And is. Just can't seem to leave the tier fours.
Yeah, this this was a, a beatdown. J178 gave NIP the hands. A little sloppy at times there in the yeah. mid game, but this late game adjustment with the Yule's arrow setups, just breaking the game wide open. I, I think that really proves that this was a draft win from 178. The fact that they didn't play the cleanest of games, but they still, like at the end, they dominated. Yeah. I mean, power of the last pick. Pikachu yeah. yeah. literally yeah. ran down mid, died, <laughs> fed himself away, <laughs> and the game still was like this. Yeah. It, it never felt. Did they ever end up taking a tower? There is. Okay, they took top and bottom. Yeah. So they got a. Then if you got some towers. They're just sitting in base. It's been a rough start to the season for NIP. It has been. You would have thought this would be the the major minor cycle where they get straight into the major. Then struggle to ESL and DreamHack now. Struggling here in game one. Against the replacements. Yeah, against the, the third place here, yeah, team. Yeah, they're just gonna beat down. But never give up, never surrender. Can they turn this around? It's at 50% LD. It doesn't look like they're gonna turn around. They gave up. They're trying. But they did give up. They did surrender. What, what has happened to statistics during my absence here? <laughs> Did I hear a squeak? Watch your watch Did your I hear a squeak? Sing, sing, sing. <laughs> The battle begins. <laughs> mm. Just did I hear one of my favorites? It was your own damn. I'm in trouble, Steve Straight. Bottom tower is under attack. <laughs> Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. 
Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. Dyer's structures are fortified. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Invisibility! <laughs> <laughs> 